Welcome to the Morph Neo channel, where regular and crypto games meet. If you love regular FPS games, blockchain-based NFT and play-to-earn games then subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to watch our videos, and stay up to date. If you like games that features classless combat, allowing players to customize their character's abilities and playstyle as they progress through the game, then we have an awesome game for you. Ember Sword is a game where players are not restricted to predefined classes and can create their unique fighting style, making the gameplay experience more diverse and engaging. The game offers a wide range of weapons, armors, and skills to choose from, providing players with the freedom to explore different approaches to combat. What is Ember Sword? Ember Sword is a free-to-play game that features classless combat, allowing players to customize their character's abilities and playstyle as they progress through the game. This means that players are not restricted to predefined classes and can create their unique fighting style, making the gameplay experience more diverse and engaging. The game offers a wide range of weapons, armors, and skills to choose from, providing players with the freedom to explore different approaches to combat. Thanabus Moon will host the four nations, Solarwood, Duskerton, Severend, and Ediso. Solarwood will also have alpha testing. The rest of the country's parks will open in 2023 and after. Upon character creation, players choose one of the four nations to call home once the game is finished. Ember Sword is currently in testing mode with pre-registration open for players to play. Land sales are done through their website, and early access landowners have the luxury to participate in alpha testing. If this sounds interesting then let us go further, but before that a short disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor, everything in this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Always do your own research and consult several sources before making any investment decisions. All the information about the game in this video can be found on the game's website, in the white paper and several other sources on the internet. The information we gathered from these sources is intended to be accurate at the time of recording of this video. Please note however that the blockchain-based gaming world is a very fast-spaced industry and is in a constant state of development and evolution. With our quick review series, we wish to give you a short summary of many blockchain games, highlighting some important features of the games, scoring and ranking them solely for orientation purposes and not for judgment. If you have already seen our previous quick review videos and know our scoring system, you can simply skip the next two minutes and continue with the video in the next chapter. At the end of the scoring process, an overall score will be created for each game we have reviewed. Our review and scoring system is very simple and answers the following questions. 1. Is the game already playable? If the answer is yes, then 1 point, otherwise 0. 2. Is the game free to play? If you can start to play the game without any investment, then the score is 1 point, otherwise 0. 3. What game modes are available? Is the game a PvP or a PvE game or both modes are available? If only one mode is available, it could be PvP or PvE then the score is 0 points otherwise it is 1 point. 4. Is the game a play-to-earn game? For the purpose of our scoring system the definition of a play-to-earn game is where you can directly and unconditionally earn coins, or tokens through gameplay that you can directly convert to stable coins or fiat money. If the answer is yes, then 1 point. If, however, players can earn coins upon some conditions or players can only use the in-game currency they receive as a reward to upgrade their assets, or buy NFTs, and cannot directly convert it to real money, then the score will be zero points. 5. The fifth question will have two parts. One part is whether the game token is in the first 1000 ranked by market cap on CoinMarketCap website. If yes then half a point, otherwise zero points. And finally, we can give half a point based on our subjective opinion of the game, where we take into consideration factors like, the game itself, network, team, activity, transparency etc. Overall, the maximum score a game can get is 5 points. Let the analysis begin. First question. Is Ember Sword game already playable? Last month. Ember Sword by Bright Star Studios put together a short alpha play test session where players of all kinds could test out the game for the first time. With the two-day test several weeks in the past, the team has provided a few post-test notes, showcasing some of the milestones that players accomplished during their sessions. 
Last month's alpha test was the first in their alpha stage of development, with their previous pre-alpha test primarily focusing on the technical aspects of the game's online nature. To participate in the alpha test, you'll need to sign up for an account on the Ember Sword website. Once you've created an account, you'll be able to open the game client and start playing. It's browser-based, so you don't need to download anything to start playing. What's more, you also don't need to connect your crypto wallet. Each gamer can stay in the playtest for 30 minutes per trial or until your character dies. You can play it as many times as you like, explore the new game features, and report eventual bugs on Ember Sword's official Discord. All in all, the full version of the game is not ready yet only the alpha version is available, we give to this topic zero points. Score, zero. Is Ember Sword a free-to-play game? Ember Sword is a free-to-play, massively multiplayer online role-playing game with a classless and fast-paced combat system. Players will be able to create a character, pick a home nation, and venture into the world with a weapon of their choice to defeat monsters, bosses, and other players, or explore the world to find goods and rares. Ember Sword is currently in alpha. The developers are internally testing the capabilities of the game engine, as well as various networking features. All in all, Ember Sword is a free-to-play game, therefore we give this topic one point. Score, one. What game modes are implemented in the game? PvP or PvE or both? In terms of gameplay, Ember Sword will have various PvP and PvE experiences. Outlaw zones are planned as free-for-all PvP and PvE areas, where players will travel to collect the rarest resources, slay high-level monsters, and fight other players. There will be point of interest PvP areas to conquer and protect in the outlaw zones, and the players will need to team up with their friends or guild members against other players. Dying in the outlaw zone will cause the players to lose their gear. In wilderness and kingship zones, players can defeat open world PvE bosses or venture into the world as a lone wolf to defeat other various monsters and beasts with their weapons and abilities. Encountering players from other nations in these territories will be possible, and players may engage in combat with them. For PvP players, Ember Sword's endgame content will be competitive, skill-based, and high stakes, if a player dies in Outlaw Zones, they lose most of their gear. If a player wins the endgame battles at Outlaw Territory Camps, they may be rewarded with scarce limited edition cards. Once a player has acquired all cards in a collection, they can unlock its collectible. These collectibles can be sold in the marketplace for Ember. For PvE players, the world of Ember Sword will be filled with unique monsters and beasts. Killing the open world bosses that spawn at random locations may grant the player a limited edition card, that also can be traded in the marketplace. For players who just like to trade, there will be a caravan trading mechanic. Player merchants can acquire valuable resources unique to the player's home nation and launch a caravan trade from the nearest city, across the dangerous outlaw territories into foreign nations to sell resources to other players at a profit. This is a gameplay mechanic that will only be available once multiple nations are live. Without a central worldwide marketplace for in-game resources, players from foreign nations will be eager to buy them from traveling merchants. Lastly, there are no planned classes in Ember Sword. Players won't be bound to a single playstyle or a weapon type. However, each weapon will have its own leveling system, where the more it is used, the newer skills unique to the weapon will be unlocked. All in all, Ember Sword has PvP and PvE game modes as well, so, we give this topic 1 point. Score, 1. Is the play-to-earn format implemented in the game? Can you directly earn coins or tokens by gameplay? As the final version of the game is not yet ready and only registered players are allowed to test the game, there is no established and tested mechanism for how the play-to-earn system will work. If you read only the game's website there is no reference to the play-to-earn feature, there is no such section on the site. The Ember token will be used as the primary currency within the game's economy, allowing players to buy and sell items, trade with other players, and participate in game events. As a cryptocurrency, the Ember token will be based on blockchain technology and will be tradable on cryptocurrency exchanges. It's said to be that players can earn Ember tokens by completing quests, selling items, and participating in game events, hence play and earn. According to our scoring and ranking system we have established, 
we cannot say at the time of recording and in the current phase of the game that Ember Sword is a play to earn game. We can give zero points to this question. Score, zero. Market cap and subjective opinion. The game main token Ember is not listed on coin market cap, so the score is zero points. Our subjective score based on the game, network, team, investors, activity, transparency etc. is half a point. Summary of our analysis. 1. Is the game already playable? Only the alpha version of the game is ready. Score, 0 points. 2. Is it a free-to-play game? Yes, you can play the free-to-play version. Score, 1 point. 3. What game modes are available in Ember Sword? It has PvE and PvP game modes as well. Score, 1 point. 4. Is Ember Sword a play-to-earn game? No, you cannot earn tokens through gameplay. Score, 0 points. 5. Is it in the top 1000 by market cap? No, it isn't. Score, 0 points. Our subjective score half a point. The final score is 2.5 points out of a maximum of 5 points for Ember Sword. We hope that our quick review and comparison method we have set up has helped you to get to grips with this game and that the analysis and overall score has helped you to make your decision to learn more about the game. What do you think about Ember Sword? Would you like to play with this game? Please share your thoughts about the game in the comment section below. Would you like to get a deeper analysis video about Ember Sword? If yes, please drop it in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give a thumb up, we would really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and see you next time in our next game review, gameplay, or tutorial video. Bye.